This is how I study pulmonary function tests. Now we have the oh excuse me, we have the um the total ventilation here. Total ventilation. Ventilation. Why did I spell ventilation wrong again? Okay, so we have the total ventilation here. I think I spelled it wrong. Yeah, I did. Total ventilation, which is the total amount of gas flow into or out of the respiratory track in one minute. And then we have the forced um, vital capacity, okay, or the FVC, forced vital capacity. Now that right there is the gas forcibly expelled after taking a deep breath. Okay, now that's the force vital capacity. Gas forcibly expelled after taking a deep breath. The last one is going to be the forced expiratory volume. That right there is also known as F E V. Okay? That right there, the definition is the amount of ooh, excuse my cord of gas expelled during a specific time intervals of the FVC. Again, force expiratory volume, amount of gas expelled during a specific time intervals of the FVC. Now we're going to concentrate on this one down here. We're going to say we're going to measure it in one second. Okay? And up here, the force vital capacity is gas forcibly expelled after taking a deep breath. That's basically blowing out of blowing out air like really quickly. Okay, right after you inhale as much as you can, you blow it out really quickly. Okay, you just blow it out really quickly. That's the FVC, force vital capacity. Okay, force expir um, expiratory volume is the amount of gas expelled during a specific time. So that's when we're putting it to a specific time, which is one second here. Now, the total ventilation is total amount of gas flow into or out of the respiratory tract in one minute, all right? And I'll teach you how to um, find that. That we basically do the F E V divided by F V C. Okay, now normally that should be 85% normal, okay? Let me pause this video. And I'll draw um, a graph to explain it better. Okay, so here is my uh, graph right here, okay? We have the volume in liters, 5 liters here. Um, we have time in sex down here, okay? So, like I said, um, force vital capacity is gas forcibly expelled after taking a deep breath, okay? So, let's say we're taking a deep breath, right? So, we're taking a deep breath, taking a deep breath, and then right here, okay, this is when we harshly or forcibly um, exhale, okay, very quickly too. So, it's going to shoot right up and then over, okay? Now, this is um, over, like this line right here, okay, is kind of straight like this, there's, which means there's no waves, okay? It's straight because we're not, um, we're not doing anything other than blowing air out, okay? Now, this is where we blow all the air out of our lungs, okay? This right here is when we blow our air out of our lungs quickly, okay? Quickly, and then, of course, we just keep on blowing the air out, okay? Now, we're going to measure in the um, one second, right? For the um, forced expiratory volume, the FEV is the amount of 
gas expelled during specific time intervals of the FVC. Okay, now this is one second right here. So it's right here. Okay, now this is the FEV. All right, and this up here. Okay, this up here, right here. This up here is the FVC, force vital capacity. Remember that. And finding the um, total ventilation, like I said earlier, you know, we have to take the FEV sub one divided by FVC. Normal, okay. Normal is eighty five percent. All right. Now, if we have um, sixty five percent or below, that shows shine signs of um, obstruct obstructive. Now remember, obstructive is like COPD, um, emphysema, asthma, bronchitis, and there's an increase in TLC, FRC, and RV. Okay, and um, the airway. Okay, basically the airway resistance increases and the airflow decreases. All right, and there's an overinflation of the lungs when it comes to obstructive. I'm gonna zoom out. There you go. You could take another look of that.